Good morning, it's a cold morning here at Middlehurst and we're about to go up in our helicopter. Our pilot Willie got here a little while ago and the first thing we had to do was have a chat about safety because that is the priority when it comes to aerial photography, particularly with helicopters because we've got the doors off today as you can see, we've taken those doors off and we don't want anything flying out of that helicopter and hitting the tail rotor because the helicopter doesn't fly too well without it. We can't take lots of camera bags so simply using one camera with a standard lens or two cameras with a variety of lenses so you don't change lenses midstream or midair so to speak is always a good way to go as well. I think it's time to go for a fly so I'll get my pilot and get my buddies and we're off. When you're in the air, settings are really important. If you get too low a shutter speed, for instance, you're gonna end up with all blurry pictures. You'll have a great time, I guarantee it, but those pictures may not be something you wanna share with other people. So generally, I work around the 2,000th of a second or faster. And also, because you're shooting from the air, a lot of the time, you don't need big depths of field. And when it comes to the height that you fly at, around 2,000 feet's a good starting point. And then once you get comfortable, you might start looking at 1,500 feet or even lower to get some more detail. And of course, you don't have a tripod, but you've got a plane or a helicopter, they can go as high or as low as you need them to go, within reason, of course. Now, when we're in the air and we're looking down, we've got two options. We can do the look down view, and we might require the plane to tip the wings and do a very tight orbit. Or you might be in the helicopter, same thing. But you've also got the oblique view. So when you're shooting from the air, it's important to keep your awareness around both. Sometimes the patterns on the ground are what mesmerise and capture your attention. But then take a look up because often you'll be looking across a, a range of mountains or a range of hills or perhaps a river running into the distance and the side light will make for a beautiful oblique perspective which will be something that can complement your look down shots as well. One of the advantages of a helicopter is it can put you into places that are just too difficult to get to any other way. Here we are standing up on the top of the Inner Kaiakoura Range. Helicopter's just dropped us off and he's headed off to find some more spots for us. So we're going to have half an hour up here and this is a place we could not have got to in any other way. It's cold but it's dramatic, it's beautiful and as you can see behind me, what an incredible landscape to have the opportunity to photograph. But we've got to keep moving so we stay warm. Being up here, the snow's super, super fresh and the light's coming in from about my three o'clock or 2.30 position. So it's coming in across all of these little soft mounds across the snow, it's just starting to glisten as the sun hits them and they begin to melt. We've got a lovely little drop off here and on the other side of that, I have another sort of uh, side of the mountain coming down and a big dark shape in the background and this soft pastel sky behind all that. The sun's just popping out now, so without my hood on, which I took out because I was uh, doing aerial, I'm just gonna block that sun and make sure I don't get any flare. That looks beautiful. Here at Middlehurst, we tend to do flights from early in the morning looking at the rivers, the riverbeds, the yards where we get long shadows from fences, long shadows from trees. And then as the light comes up and starts to penetrate into those canyons, we get up into the mountain ranges and get some beautiful shots. V grooves coming in, white snow on one side, maybe no snow on the other where it's melted, etc. Uh, the other thing is when you're looking down on the ground with a plan view, everything's at the same distance. When you're looking at a mountain, it might be going past extremely quickly. If you're in a helicopter, for instance, it might only be four or five hundred feet away shutter speeds have to go up even higher than two thousandths of a second. You might be looking at fours and eight thousandths of a second because of the speed in which the ground or the mountainside's going past you. Now, of course, the most important factor when it comes to aerial photography, in my opinion, is the relationship with the pilot and the safety around the aircraft. So it's that little uh, yellow ring in front of you on the nose now, Willie. Right in front of you, it's one o'clock now. Four o'clock. Come around on that, that'll be great. So just down the bottom. So let's go and have a chat to one of the best pilots I've ever flown with, Willie Sage. When people are coming up to do aerial photography and hopping into one of the aircraft, what are some of the important safety factors they should be in, keeping in mind? I think one of the most important things is just to take your time, don't do things in too much of a hurry. When you've got the doors off, you've got to be aware of anything coming out of the helicopter or the aeroplane, so that's really important to make sure any loose clothing's all tucked away, you've got lens caps and bags and things that can come out. Somebody going out there doing their first aerial flight in a, who knows, some other country in the world, hires a helicopter or a plane, what's something they could keep in mind when they first meet that pilot to, to make sure they can get the most out of the experience? Well, I think if you've got a good relationship with that guy and you sit down before you go, from a flying point of view, it's not that hard because you say, you know, fly straight ahead, I want you to turn 45 degrees to the right. Can you bank over now? I mean, it's not that tricky to do. So there you go, that's aerial photography. Work closely with your pilot, safety first at all times. Take your time, great tip from Willie that one. And um, most important thing is go up there and have fun.